Good morning, everyone. I'm Lola with LolaRiss.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I am going to share a fun fold with you today. But let me get this pulled up on my Facebook, and we'll get going. I'm running a little late today. I wish I could explain why, you know, I could blame it on somebody else, but it's just me. Just me running late. So, uh, morning, Doris. Nice to have you with us. Give me a minute to pull it up and we'll get started here. Everything always takes time to get everything going. And now this one's not going to allow me to see comments. Give me a second on this. Let's see if I can get it fixed. Okay. Morning, Jonna. Okay, ladies, my comments Morning, are not going to come up today. Okay, ladies. My yeah, and that volume always pops up. So today I'm not going to get to see comments. So when I turn this around, I won't be able to see unless I can figure out something else. It always changes on me. I think Facebook does this on purpose. I don't think it does it for anybody else but me. It's like, what can we do to mess around with Lola today? All right. So here we go. Okay, wait a second. I see a comment, so let's see what we got. Maybe we've got it there. No, it still doesn't give it to me, the sideways. Good morning, Ann and Jonna. So I'm going to go on back up here and get going. I want to share a fun fold with you today that I actually saw on another person's blog. It was um, Oksana Semenska. Oksana is with Stamp with Ox. Stamp with Oksana, I think is the title of her business. And I met Oksana um, in August this past year in New Orleans. We were down, Pam and I were down at the uh, leadership conference and we met Oksana um, there. She's a friend of Lori Mueller's. Lori is with Stampin' Dreams and she's from Nebraska. And you know, it's the if that's the best part of Stampin' Up! is the connections of the people that you meet, the connections of the people that you connect with online, um, the, the, the opportunity to recreate or, or reconnect with friends from past years. And, and all of you are part of that. I, you know, I know several of you that are here that I've not met in person, but we've connected online. Jonna, you and I taught years ago together, and then here we are back together again. And we had several years that we were going different directions in life. And then um, you meet people with Stampin' Up, specifically Lori, gosh, love her. Pam and I were on our way to Orlando and she happened to come down the aisle and there was a seat in between us and she said, Lori says, ladies, can I sit with you? And we're like, sure. And she plopped down in the seat and started doing her swaps. And we're like, oh, you're stamping up. She said, I am. And when we found out that she was like a gold, we're like, okay. And we picked her brain the entire way to Orlando of ideas and things. And oh my gosh, she's awesome. I've been to one of her retreats in Nebraska. Every time I go someplace that I know that she's going to be, we ran into each other the very last night in, in Hawaii. Uh, we just, just connect. And so in New Orleans, we connected with Lori and she is a friend of Oksana and Oksana connected with us through that. And that's the connection. So Oksana posted this on her Facebook page last week as, and she referred to it as a funky fun fold. And she had gotten the funky fun fold from a girl um, named Claire in the UK. Now this is all I have to go on. So I have renamed it instead of funky fun fold for me. I named it inside accordion, accord, inside accordion fun fold just so I have it and know in my records what it is. But I also gave credit to Oksana and I think I gave credit to Claire from the UK, but I can't tell you anything more. So, all right, if you're new to watching me, I craft on the on the fly. I am not, I got this going last night. I ran my, my um, measurements, my cards. I got it all cut 
but then I have not put it together. I am literally going with what I saw from Oksana. So if I make a mistake, we adapt. If I don't make a mistake, we go, woohoo, I made it. All right, so don't worry about trying to write measurements because I have posted it already. I'm not posted it, but I'm getting ready to. As soon as I'm finished here with this Facebook Live, I will edit my pictures and then I will post them on my um, my blog, lolarist.com. You can go on to lolarist.com and access a PDF of the um, measurements and the directions, and you can either make a copy of it or whatever you choose to do, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with Petal Pink. Petal Pink, and it's gonna be eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna go on ahead and fold it. So you have to hear my granddaughter in the background. So, and um, then we're gonna also use sweet sorbet and basic white. And we're gonna use pieces of, car, of DSP from the T Boutique, okay? T Boutique will be going out. And this is one that I'm gonna need both sides of this paper. So I'm gonna actually use three sheets of the six by six packet to be able, no, actually four, four sheets to be able to get this together. So let's go on ahead and get the mat together. And my mat is, and I've got my little thing here to use on the side. My mat is eight or five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And I also have my DSP. I want to have contrasting ones. So I'm going to be using two sheets of this side and two sheets of this side. Okay. So let's go on ahead and get this one together. I'm getting better with the stamp and seal. And I say that and then I started to have issues. I have to just keep persevering through it. Jonna, you are right. Jonna told me, and I've heard of this on someone else's blog, if you have one of these acrylic mats, it helps to keep it there um, so that you can go back and, and add your, your um, adhesive if you need to. You can just kind of go back over where that adhesive was and it will start that adhesive running again. Okay, so I'm gonna go on ahead and this one uses four of these mats. So I'm gonna put one here, and I'm gonna put one over here. Now, Oksana did not do all these mats, but you guys know me well enough to know I love mats. So probably this is a card that if you make it, you probably need to hand deliver it, or you need to add extra postage. So when I say it won't run, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna come over here and pick up a little, and then it should run. Now, I said I need four of these mats, so we have one on the front, we have them on the inside. We're gonna put one in the back. And then I'm also going to put my place to write my message on the back of my card. So I've got a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. This would really be a good card for a memory type card. When I say a memory keeping card, um, I could see it for graduation if you could get pictures of your graduates, like a parent could make this, and you would post pictures of the, the inside of your, your card, and you'll see why here in a minute. All right, so now we're gonna take the back side of this piece, and I cut this also at four by five and a quarter. And this one at 
five and a quarter by four. The plus to this stamp and seal, if you can just persevere through it, is that it is stickier than snail and it goes farther, okay? I do think this card probably will have to have um, extra postage if you mail it or hand deliver it, like I said. So we've got the basic card done. Here it is, the front, the insides, and the greeting section on the back or the cinnamon, whatever. Okay, we're going to decorate it here later on it with the scallop contour. And we're going to put that off to the side, but let's work on the inside mechanism. So the inside mechanism is, com is comprised of three different things. It's comprised of strips of DSP. Those strips measure four by one and a half. They are um, all coordinating, but when you lay it up here, you notice how it's going to give a coordinating look showing against those gingham ones on the background. And then we have four sweet sorbet, and these are four and an eighth by five, four and an eighth by one and five eighths. Hey, Nora, your papa's calling you, honey. And then this one here is a strip of petal pink that is one and three fourths by eight. And then I scored it at two, four, and six inches. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get these on this first section here. So our oldest granddaughter is visiting today. This whole week, in fact, we'll take her back later in the week. Spring break is happening. So... We had Fiona last week, or as we refer to her, because she's pretty petite. We, we call her Fee Nut, not Peanut, Fee Nut. Fee Nut was here, and Norby is here today and the rest of this week, and we'll take her back in time to have a date with her grandfather in St. Louis. So there's two. And three. And turn that one. Okay. Don't know what's going on with the comments. It did not pop up with the comments. So leave comments for me, but I'll have to come back and answer them after the fact. Okay. We have this one. Okay. All right. So these are going to get anchored onto the center of our card. This is why I think it's going to take extra postage with all my mats. I think even with the mats, not even there, I think it would have too, okay? And it's possible you could change or vary this up a little bit. I wanted to have um, the contrast of the petal pink and the sorbet, so I, I'm mixing it, okay? So we have this long strip that is one and three fourths by eight, and I'm gonna fold it on my score lines. like so. And you want it to be like this. You want it to have a peak in the middle and you want it to be down on these sides, okay? Up these score lines. So there it is. So we're gonna take our little mechanism and all we're gonna do is worry about this first one. So it's one and three fours, so let's we're gonna worry about one piece. We're gonna start here, and I'm gonna try and center this piece in here, 
evenly. And if I get this one centered, I'm in good shape. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So it's like um, just an inch and an eighth. One, two, three, four, five. So that is an inch and a quarter. So I need to move down a little. One, two, three, four, and three sixteenths. One, two, three, four, and three sixteenths. So I'm going to mark this. Hmm. You guys getting there? I had a message showing on my. Okay, so I'm going to mark that. And I'm also going to mark it kind of on the side so that I get it somewhat centered. So let me sure I've got it straight. Now you do realize if I get this, you know, this is the problem with crafting on the fly. Because if it doesn't work, oh well. Okay. All right. So we're going to start here with our paper. I got it kind of moved again, unfortunately. Just a minute. Let me get it back in the spot. So that's there, and that's there. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good. All right. Now don't move it. So I'm going to start with some glue here. Okay. Once you get the first one in place, the rest of it will fall in place. So we're going to start here. That should be about right. Okay. All right, make sure I don't have any glue there. I'm good there. Okay, so now we're gonna take the next one and the next one's gonna go here. But to make it easier to put this together, I'm gonna turn this over like so. And I'm gonna put my glue on this one now. Now I know exactly where my glue goes, so I can put it here. And I'm gonna fold this over, like so. Okay? All right, now we're gonna start with this one. And we're gonna put this one up, making sure it's good and even. So I'm gonna put my glue on this. Even this up. Like so. And then we have one more that goes here, but we're gonna flip it. And then we're gonna set it there. We're just gonna hold for a second. And there's our mechanism, okay? And our mechanism goes on the inside of the card. And we want it to be able to come up like this in the middle so that when we open it, you've got this accordion going on. You can move it however much you want. If you want it to be wider, you want it to be more, more, you know, have more of a peak. If you want it to be more straight, you can straighten it out by just pulling it out to the side, okay? And this is where I think that it would be fun for graduation because I think it would be fun to put a picture of a baby, maybe uh, elementary, middle school, senior picture. I think you could do that. I think it would work for um, a memory book, little memory thing. 
anything. I think it would be a, <coughs> excuse me. I think it would be a fun Mother's Day card if you had like um, four children or three children, you could figure out a way to, to incorporate it so that you got all the kids in there. All right, so we got that much done. Let's go on ahead and just put this off to the side for now and let's come back and stamp. So we're gonna take on the front, I'm gonna take a scallop contour and I'm gonna take the stamp set that is from the um, Petal Park, I think it is. I don't, oh, there it is, Petal Park. And this is a bundle that came into the middle, the, the um, spring catalog. And I'm going to ink it up with Garden Green. There is an, two different leaf patterns. There's one here that has all of the outlines. Um, then they have one that has the insides. Sometimes I used this one by itself in a card class today. In fact, in a post I used last week, I did just this by itself. Um, today I'm going to use on this, I'm going to use this one without all the line work. Okay. So I'm going to turn it around, and it just barely fits. Let me see if I got good coverage on that one spot. It just barely fits here, so I'm going to do the best I can. Since I didn't have my pad under there, I want to make sure I got good coverage. So there it is. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to take the line. I'll set this off to the side. I'm going to take Sweet Sorbet. Piece of scrap paper. Look at my punch, how it's set. So I get this all in the right position. Okay. I'm gonna take the sweet sorbet and this is the line work. Just like so. And then I'm gonna take the inside of the color of the petals themselves I'm gonna ink it up, and then I'm gonna stamp it off. And then I'm gonna come back in and line it up. Let's stamp down. Okay. All right, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna go on ahead and leave the green there and I'm gonna do a stamp on top of a leaf. If it punches, it may not punch with this. I may have to come back and do a leaf. So I, the neat thing about these kind of punches is that I can get all of them at one time. Okay, so we've got one, two, and three, and then I do want a leaf, so I'm gonna come back in here and do a leaf. Okay, and there's my leaf, and I'm just gonna stamp my leaf with garden green. Lined it up. Because it's a photopolymer stamp, I can see through it. And most of the time, I do a pretty good job of lining it up on the image stamped underneath. If I don't, it's fine. It's paper and I can stamp some more. I can live with that, okay? And we have to do one more thing. On the inside, I'm gonna use the word friend, and so I'm gonna stamp it on a circle that is from the layered circles. 
Okay, now we are ready to finish our card. Let's get the mechanism inside of the card. And to do that, I'm gonna use tearing tape. Make sure I've got it going the way I want it to. I'm gonna put tearing tape on the outside only. You want a good, strong bond on it. And um, I know that we have Seal Plus. I've never used Seal Plus. I figured I better just stay with the stamp and seal and learn it first. And I think Pam uses the stamp and seal plus, and she really likes it. Um, but I like tear and tape. Tear and tape is strong, it's good. Okay. The hardest part of tear and tape is getting it torn apart. And if you remember to bring things like a, a um, have I lost you guys? There it is. All of a sudden you disappeared on my screen and it was back to my blog, so I must've hit something right. Okay. If you remember to bring a pointer, it makes it life so much easier, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go on ahead and figure out where I want this to kind of fall. Kind of want it to fall there, and that one's a little crooked. Let's see if I can ease it up a little. Nope, it's as it is, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go on ahead and put this about like this. I'm just going to put a little notch here where I want it to kind of be. Okay. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to pull this off. We are not too far from being done. And then it's on to everything else. All right, so I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna put this about where that little notch was, right here. And there. And I'm gonna do the same over here. So mine will open maybe a little more than other people's. It's really personal preference. There is no right or wrong how much it accordions in the middle. And I'm going to fold my card over. And this is what's going to make it need extra postage is all of this in the middle. And there it is. Okay. To finish up the inside, I'm gonna go on ahead and take that circle that I have friend on, and I'm going to adhere it onto a sweet sorbet scallop circle. And then I'm going to just post it right here in this corner. Maybe I'll just put the adhesive there. Okay, so there's the inside. Now let's finish up the outside and we are good. So I'm going to take some of the in color baker's twine and i'm just going to wrap some of the sweet sorbet around it the scallops make it so easy so you know exactly that you're even so i'm just gonna put a little here so i can tie a bow after the fact and i'm gonna go around about two times
So I encourage you to try this card on your own. Remember, after I'm finished, I will go back to lolaris.com and I will edit my picture and post my video and my um, PDF with the picture of the card on it. So you go back, make the card, and then post it in the comments here. I know some of you posted here, some of you go on to our group, private group page, stamp ink paper, craft with Pam and Lola, and they do that. But you can post it in the comments right here so people can see it. Hold the knot just a hair and pull. You can shrink your loops down a little. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals and we're gonna finish the front of the card and you have, as Oksana called it, the funky fun fold that she saw from Claire in the UK. Or as I'm using on the title for my PDF, I put accordion, inside accordion fold, I think. All right, I'm gonna post this right here with dimensionals. And then I have glue dots for my flowers and we're gonna finish this up. I'm gonna put two of the flowers on the outside. Maybe three, we'll see. I'm gonna put my biggest one here. Just kind of fits in this open space. Yeah, let's go back and do one more. We've got time. So we're gonna do this. Post it there. We need one up here that connects to this. So it really ties it all together, okay? All right, I wanna come back here and I wanna post one more I want to make one more flower set, but I'm only actually going to use one or two of them. So full strength on the lower or the edging, the light, the line work. Stamp off. On the inside color. Not as nice as they were on the front, but that's okay. I'll slide it in, and we are almost done. Okay, I want the middle one. I'm just gonna punch the middle one right here. In fact, maybe the little one, we'll see. I'm gonna put the little one on the inside. And the leaf behind it. And we are just about done. So the little one. And then the leaf beside it. We've got the extra two, so why not use them? Don't throw them out. I'll go back here to the back and I will decorate the back. It's already gonna be heavier postage, so what's another couple of little flowers? And there is my card, and let's put a, because, you know, nobody can go without bling. And the rhinestones were on my table, so this is what I'm using, the iridescent rhinestones. And there's my card for the day, guys. The inside accordion fun fold is what I called it. There it is. We open up the front. There's the inside. And there's your greeting on the back. 
and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, go online, lolaris.com, find the PDF, then go out and make the card. Give it a shot. Try it. It really is not hard at all. The hardest part is getting the first one in place, and then everything else just falls in place, okay? All right, and while you're at it, look up Stamp with Oksana um, and Stamp, Stampin' Dreams with Lori. So, all right, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.